first time here, and I know this restaurant's been here for many years. I used to think it was just, you order your pizza, you come and pick it up. It's not. So we're gonna start looking at the famous pizza menu. pizza crust and then we got a thin crust large pizza we got sausage on the whole thing pineapple on one half for Chavin and, and then pepperoni and garlic on the other half the owner Jerry came out here and brought us some bread and olive oil for dipping this olive oil is on Unbelievable. It is crazy, crazy good. So the owner came and gave us um, some Italian potatoes. Oh my gosh! These look so good. Now the olive oil, he actually makes himself. This stuff is Unbelievable. I've never had olive oil like this in my life. It was so, so good. These are the pizza sticks. She can't speak, it's so good. This is gonna be hard to top. I'm gonna to try these potatoes. I'm in heaven. Everything is like Fresh, fresh, fresh out of the oven. I like a pipe and hot. This is awesome. That's good. Pizza is one of my favorite foods, if not my very, very favorite food. In casinos, I love you. Where have you been all my life? I love you. I love in casinos. I may not even want to get a pizza anywhere else. <laughs> I could live on these potatoes. I swear to God, if you get nothing else here but the potatoes, you will be so happy. Not only was the food spectacular, but the service was outstanding. So you get special service right from the owner of this restaurant and he cooks all the food, he makes the olive oil, like just spectacular. Like, I loved it. What did you think of the pizza sticks? They were more than infinitely good. <laughs> Do you like the olive oil? Did you dip? Yeah? No. He didn't have the potatoes though because he hates potatoes. But were by far the best Italian potatoes. A lot of people call them mojos in Russia, but these are phenomenal. They just melt in your mouth. They're nice and crispy on the outside. The flavor is outstanding and just a burst of flavor. And then you get this sauce. The sauce. Oh my gosh, the sauce is absolutely incredible. It's such an amazing owner of this place. So we are just so happy. We were all at our table late. When I walk into an Italian are, restaurant, I want to feel that. Yeah, so you come in, you're getting, you're getting yeah. who we are, what we are. Our family, you know, in 
Racine and started everything. That's how we started. And then we just kind of adapted and, and you know, our own little things after this. We decided that we were going to order out today rather than going to the restaurant because it's rainy and cold and I would just prefer to have my pizza here. So we ordered from Frankie D's tonight. So let's see what we have. It's gloomy and rainy and yes, my makeup and art desk is a mess. Okay. So, we got Mojo's. I'm excited about these. But after I had Intocinos, they are gonna have to really kill it with these things. Oh, whoa! We got garlic and sausage. I can't even see where it's cut. <laughs> There's so much cheese on this, look at that. Okay, so here's the sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and try Mojo. I can already tell I'm not gonna like this Mojo because it feels hard. The Mojo, not as good as in Um, The potato doesn't feel cooked all the way through. It's okay. Definitely not in quality by any means. Pizza Troubles. Where this is cut. This potato isn't even cooked all the way through. Like a mojo should be nice and, you know, tender inside. This potato is like. Ugh. Not good. There is a lot of cheese on this thing, and it doesn't look like it was cut really well, so. I will eat the pizza, but it's not my favorite. Okay. There is so much cheese on this pizza that I can't even figure out how to pick this up. way too much cheese and I like cheese okay I love cheese I am so not impressed this is supposed to be a ham tossed pizza not a pan all right take a look at this look at how thick this crust is all right this is supposed to be a ham toss you should have like a nice thin crust that's like half an inch of dough there is way too much cheese on here like just way too much and I like a cheesy pizza. It's almost hard to eat. It's okay. But it doesn't make me want to be like, oh my god, I'm gonna eat this whole pizza. And even if a pizza is really, really good for me, I'll be like, oh, this is good, I'm gonna eat this. But I'm almost like at the point where it's like, I don't even know if I wanna eat this. Like, and that's a. Uh, yeah. Like, look. Ugh. There's like no sauce in there. So I'm using their sauce, which is actually kind of good. Yeah, you're right. There really isn't a whole lot of sauce, but like even the the bottom is soggy. It's really, really soggy. But again, we did have it delivered. So that, you know, we're going to give it that much. But Let's try their sausage. For me, they taste cold. There's so much cheese, it's hard to swallow. Okay. Is it cold for you? Yeah. Like not cooked. Like for me, it was freezing cold. Mm. And mine was a little cold. Like almost not cooked. Not impressed. Really not impressed with Frankie D's. There's way too much dough. And not, there's barely any sauce. There's no sauce on it whatsoever. And I don't like a lot of sauce on my pizza, but I would like some sauce on my pizza. What's with 
Look at that hairdo. Okay, we're going to Ruffalo's today. We've been to Ruffalo's before, but yeah. it was a really, really long time and Tavin was little. And they closed down and then reopened. So I'm going to give this a try and see if their pizza and their sauce is as good as it used to be. This is going to be Ruffalo's on 45th Street off of 39th Avenue. <laughs> other restaurants. So we got a medium cheese and sausage and of course Tevin likes pineapple on his so we got pineapple on half and I like onions on mine and I got onions on the other half. Typically we've been getting like fresh garlic on there when it's available and it wasn't available here. And since Infocitos gave us those free mojos, um, we got mojos at uh, Frankie D's which were god awful. And we got the mojos here, so I'm really excited to get those. And it comes with their red sauce, and their sauce is amazing here. It used to be the best sauce in town. So I'm really excited um, to see if their sauce is how it used to be years ago when we used to come here. And their lasagna, their lasagna here is like the best ever. All right, here comes our mojos. Very hot, this came out okay. Look at those. Yes, ooh, yummy, looks very good. Very good, hi. What was your name again? Amanda. Amanda, all right, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, thank you. Ooh, they're nice and crispy. That's how a mojo is supposed to taste. Nice and soft in the middle, crunchy on the outside. And the flavor is so good. Those are fantastic. Mm. Woohoo! Yeah, oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. is amazing the sauce is good and look at that I love that you can see some of that grease on top that's their sauce so good oh yeah so far this is number one for me I like this one better than in casinos because Infocino's um, crust was a little soggy on the bottom. It wasn't nice and crispy. Like, I like it. This is perfection. Oh, I mean, absolutely perfect in every aspect. The crust is so good. A good flavor. Their sauce. This is amazing. I love how nice and crispy it is on the bottom. Pineapple. Good. <clears throat> I just want you guys to try the garlic nuts. What are these? These are garlic. Mm. They're not on the menu. I'm going to get these a try. They look super good. But I do have to hand it to them. Their sausage is amazing. These are so good. They're nice and crunchy on the outside and then super fluffy on the inside. I believe these are probably fried pizza dough. Oh yeah. Aren't those good? <laughs> mm. 
I know, right? Look at the inside of that. Nice and fluffy on the inside. Nice and crispy on the outside. It's just phenomenal. Yum. I'm a happy girl right now. For real. <laughs> I'm so full. This was so good. So far. This is my favorite out of the three that we've tried so far. This was spectacular. Everything was good. There was nothing here that was not satisfactory. Like, exceeded my expectations. Everything we had here tonight was just incredible. There wasn't anything here that I was like, oh, it's okay. No, everything here was really, really good. So I'm very pleased. Ruffalo's is on the top of my list. For me, Ruffalo's is top second. Top second. And you liked in casinos better. Yes. Okay. It is our last pizza place that we're going to. And I have some really bad news. I went to the doctor a couple weeks ago and was told that I have high cholesterol. Very, very high cholesterol. So my diet has to change tremendously. And one of the things that I have to give up is pizza. I have really killed myself this week eating tons of vegetables and I haven't had any dairy. I haven't had any ice cream. I haven't had any milk. I haven't had anything. I've decided that this last weekend we were really going to splurge and do one of the well-known pizza joints here in Kenosha, which is Paz Pizza. Now, when we went to uh, Ruffalo's. We talked to the owner, Kathy. We also talked to Amanda, who was our waitress there. And we said, hey, where are some good places for us to go for our last pizza place? And Amanda recommended Paz Pizza, and which of course was on my list anyway. They do not have sit-in. Um, I think they offer delivery, but we are going to go pick it up so we can eat it fresh in the car. So today we ordered from Paz a cheese and sausage pizza along with the mojo. Cheese in a week. It tastes so 
<laughs> I think a deep fried piece of poo would probably take better, taste better than all the vegetables I've been eating this week. Okay. And I love that the cheese goes all the way to the edge. That's my dream pizza right there. Just oozing over the edge of that crust. Mojos because they're not gel mojos. <laughs> Lone toilet. I like the pizza. It could definitely use a little bit more sauce. I like a lot of sauce on my pizza. It's important. <laughs> it's important. It has a little bit of sauce, but not that much. I actually don't like a lot of sauce on my pizza, so that's this is perfect. It has just a little bit of sauce, but not a crazy amount where it's just like oozing out when you bite into it. But it's not like Frankie D's where there was no sauce whatsoever. So. I'm loving this pizza. Absolutely loving it. Porte gazuna con usted marreta. Na cupulella che vi si era aizzata Passa scampaniana per tu leta Con manu appa per te fa guardare 